it's really important and helpful to know that 95%, at least of US patients, have a homozygous deletion of SMN1. So the way we detect that is by seeing if a patient has exon 7. And you can see from this slide here that exon 7 helps to distinguish SMN1 for SMN2. So if you look for exon 7, and if it's absent, then they have SMA. The way to do this typically is through quantitative PCR. However, this does not actually pick up 100% of patients with SMA. There are actually some patients that have a point mutation. As you can see here, some of the patients have a combination of a deletion and a point mutation. We call these compound heterozygous patients because they are heterozygous in two different ways. So they have a deletion and a point mutation. If the point mutation is in exon 7, it's easy to identify that as a mutation in SMN1. The problem is that sometimes the deletion is in one of the other exons and we have to infer or just take a, a clinical guess that the patient still has SMA because you cannot distinguish the other exons, whether it comes from SMN1 or SMN2. And it's important to realize that our newborn screening actually tests for deletions in SMN1. So therefore, when we do a newborn screen, we're picking up the 95% of SMA patients that have a homozygous deletion. We are still gonna miss the 5% of patients that have compound heterozygous mutations. Those patients will have to be diagnosed in the traditional form where the patients present with symptoms.